Let's finish off my Mallorca career mode. We're in January at the moment. We're mid-table, um, which is not brilliant, but it's realistic. So, yeah. Um, I mean, we're only, like, six points off, like, European placements. So, yeah. I mean, we could easily do it. We're already in the Champions League as well because of last season we finished second. If you are um, up to date with the series and stuff. Oh, that's good play. Oh, wow. That was good play. 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil in the Copa de España. Yes. 1-1. One, one. Nice one. And it's our captain, Grenier, who scored the equaliser. Not doing too badly. We equalised, so that's a good thing. Oh, that was a wicked ball. Oh, how did the goalkeeper not kick that, keep that out? Considering we got Harry Maguire... And um, all these other players. I might stick around for a little bit longer. This team's playing me off the park. They're playing me off the park. They're destroying it. I love how I'm in attacking as well. Valencia just doesn't want to get forward. He is having a lazy day. There we go. <laughs> Valencia has scored. And that is 3-2. Yeah. No, we should have um, We should have just got our act together a little bit better than... Um, in the start of the season, then it would have been a more successful season. But, oh well. I mean, at least Newcastle, at least Newcastle got top four. That's pretty cool. Valencia. Go on. Oh, no. How do you head that over the bar like that? Come on. We have to score this. It's Grenier. Yes, it's 4-3. They've completed the comeback. They've done it. It's Grenier. I think that might be the game winner, right? Like golden goal or something. I don't know if that exists anymore, but I mean, from the looks of the celebrations, I think we might have done it. Five minutes to play. Still 4-3. Can this side get an equaliser? I'm hoping not. They're pushing forward. The time is pretty much up. Well intercepted there. They got the ball back. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> That's ridiculous. They scored. And I, I kind of knew the game was going to do that. My shambolic defending. And um, yeah. Wow. 4-4. Four, four. It's going to pens. Oh, that tricked me. That like span into the middle. Okay. Right. This guy, the substitute. Come on. No. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. Bottled. Bottled that. We were 4-3 up and then we bottled it. He's retiring. Valencia's retiring after this season. No. Champions League. Can't wait for this one. We had a really good performance in the group stages against like Chelsea and teams like that. I was actually really surprised because, you know, Mallorca. Um, yeah, they are kind of a small team, aren't they? Got Marseille away from home in the first leg. Of the Champions League. Come on. Push forward. Valencia get in the other position. Yes. That's what we want. That is what we need. Yes. It's 1-0. Mallorca scored away from home. And that's 1-0. Nice. We started off so strong here. Oh, we're pushing through. Valencia. Again, Valencia has done it. It's 2-0 away from home. Come on. Come on. This is Champions League as well. Like, most of the time we struggle in our own league. But then in the Champions League, we're just steamrolling Marseille. Go on. Valencia. Oh, he's got through. He's going to do it again, right? Oh. Valencia's been on fire in this match. Fans like to say as well that we bottled the league, um, like, last year when uh, Salah scored. And we thought we won it. And then Villa like completely messed up but that was Villa's fault that was 100% Villa's fault it was nothing to do with us it was out of our hands by that point Elliot again that's 3-0 absolutely walking all over this team okay well they scored but it's not going to change an awful lot and um, the camera celebrating when they're 3-1 down. So, yeah, thanks for that, mate. All right, well, Marseille lost the first leg 3-1 at home as well. So if we can do that again at our place, then we'll be all right. 
Right. Against Espanol, we can use the same um, tactic, uh, team even, because our Champions League match isn't that far away. I hope you win Europa as the only trophy we... Oh, what a goal. We haven't won? What, Liverpool? I'm fairly sure we've won the Europa League before. That was good pressing by Valencia. And here comes Mbula. Yes, there we go. It's 1-1. One, one. Oh, well, they just scored. Liverpool, you won the Europa League before m many years ago, like in the 80s. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that... Oh, you mean under Klopp? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. We haven't um, won the Europa League under Klopp yet. It's not a major trophy, but I wouldn't mind having it. Nice one, Valencia. That's 2-2. Two, two. Oh, and Bula. Nice. And that's 3-2. Like, the way they like handled some of the top four is just crazy. Like, they can hold their own. They really can. They've got something going on there. For sure. Oh, my God. Really? Wow. Espanol. Espanol. With the power shot. And they make it 3 Free. Okay, Espanyol came here and they gave me a good game, which is fair enough. Fair play. Fair play. That's a draw for Mallorca. Not doing so brilliantly in the league, but Champions League, I think, you know, we could be all right. Luton are in the Premier League on my game. They're in the Prem and they've only got one win and 21 losses. <laughs> we can see that we're still 10th. So we haven't really moved at all in this season because we keep drawing and losing games. But we're still in reach of those top six places. Will I stay with Mallorca or will I change team? It depends what happens this season because the board are unhappy with me so far. So I might actually get sacked at the end of the season. I think we're going to draw this game. Yeah, not a very good draw against uh, Villarreal. But... A draw's a draw. Marseille in the second leg is 3-1 to us. So we just need to close this one out and then we're in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. I can see Marseille doing something in this match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I said it, Milik scores. Elliot. Yes. We restored our advantage and it's 4-2 on aggregate. Oh, Marseille, get out. Oh, no. Through ball and Harry Maguire is literally like not doing anything right now. Oh, no. Milik's got a hat-trick in the first like 33 minutes of the game. This is ball. It's like, what? Oh, my God. Champions League dream is on a knife edge right now. Oh, that's got to be a red card, surely. Oh, only a yellow? No, no, no. Oh, Elliot. Hello. Yes, it's 5-4 on aggregate. What a crazy game. What a crazy game. Who's going to be the big game player to get us that, that goal that we need? Will it be Harvey Elliot? He looks up for it. Elliot. Yes, come on. What a goal. And that's a hat trick for Harvey Elliot. Here comes Andre Gomez. Yes, there we go. That should settle it. That should settle it. Andre Gomez, of all people, scoring. And, um, yeah, that's it. Over the top. Valencia. Yeah, that's it. That is done and dusted. Come on. Let's go and celebrate with Perlo. Come on. Let's go. Celebrate with the managers. 8-4 on aggregate. Mallorca stunning turnaround in this one. Harvey Elliott, man of the match. What a performance that was in the Champions League uh, round of 16. And we march on to the quarterfinals. That was a really, really good result. But I feel now we're going to go up against some of the bigger boys in Europe. Yeah, Barcelona beat... Uh, Man City on aggregate, Chelsea lost against Bayern, PSG beat Trabonspor on aggregate, um, Milan beat Dortmund on aggregate, uh, Atletico going through as well, Inter going through as well, and Celtic losing out against, um, I'm guessing that is Atalanta. Player injured. Three months! 
three months without Elliot. Well, you can kiss the Champions League goodbye, can't you? Oh my god. We got Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich in the Champions League. Oh no. I really kind of wanted Leipzig or um, Atalanta. But oh, Bayern Munich? Yeah, that was kind of my fault with the similar kit and the game fault as well. Um, for some reason, it thought that the stripes of blue was enough to... Um, what the... That was a howler. What was that? What was that? That was an absolute howler. Carriest moment on stream. And that is 2-1 to... Well, still to me. I tried to pass it to Maguire and he didn't even... Not Maguire, sorry. The, um, the other defender. And we completely messed that up. Here we go then. You're about to watch me either have a really good game or a really bad game. Away from home in the Champions League against Bayern Munich. Come on. Oh my god, Mbula. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. 1-0 to Mallorca. Away from home. Away from home. Mbula, the goal scorer. Go on. Yes! Come on! A header out of nowhere. And that is 2 0 to Mallorca against Bayern Munich. Danny Rodriguez. Danny Rodriguez. Oh, stolen by Bataglia. Come on. Come on. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Bayern Munich are 3 0 down to us. World class difficulty as well. And that is unreal. That that was a really poor defensive error by Bayern Munich. What are they doing there? And if I win the Champions League with Mallorca, then come on! <laughs> it's 4 0. It's 4 0. Come on. Yeah, could you imagine the um, Mallorca commentators in this match in real life? Bayern Munich just got smashed. Absolutely smashed. <laughs> I can't believe it. No. No Harvey Elliott. Um, you know, we're not performing that well in the league. And Bayern Munich just got walked all over at home. Have Luton got any more wins since we last saw him? Let's have a look. No, they don't. That is the worst record I've ever seen in the Premier League. Yeah, I probably will simulate some of the um, matches towards the end. Uh, not Barcelona or Real Madrid. Oh, look, he stepped away from me there. What a nice lad he is. He stepped away from me, and that's 1-0 already. Okay, they're pushing. Oh, that's a goal, isn't it? Yeah, that's a goal. Instantly conceded, and that's 1-1. Fair enough. Fair enough. Nice. What a goal that was, and that is 2-1. What a goal that was. What a goal by Mirkwi. Joe Bellingham. Again, that's another goal, and that is Job Bellingham with the fourth goal. And, well, we're walking over this team now. Yeah, I think Mallorca are starting to get better now. I think they really are starting to get better on this, because we're destroying this team. Oh, the post, oh, they scored. They had to. They had to. They got another goal. Now, I know it is tempting, it is tempting to simulate it, but... I mean, come on. You know what the game's going to do. You know what the game's going to do. So, yeah. I'm not I'm not going to tempt fate by simulating it. Oh, no! Oh, they tried it, didn't they? Five nil. It's Enna Valencia with a goal. And that has surely wrapped this up. Enna Valencia with the goal in the 35th minute. I, I was going to park the bus, but then I decided that Valencia should have shot, and it went straight in. Oh, Valencia's in behind. It's six. Six nil. Nice one. This is just insane. This better not screw me over. Okay, so they, they got back into the game. They got back into the game, but yeah, okay. Well, sorry, North Star. I didn't see your message until it, I actually did it. That sucks, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, world class is just like, just super easy. We have a Leipzig. Yes. 
Come on, we could. There's a good chance we can we can do it. There's a good chance. You reckon? Three 0 I hope so. The trouble is, with the fixtures we got, we gotta try and like um, get results in the league, but also win the Champions League at the same time as well. It's quite difficult. Oh, keeper! What was that? I thought he had that. Gomez whips it in. And doesn't get that. Oh, what a clearance that was off the line. Oh, what a save as well. That is unbelievable by the Moroccan keeper in goal. Oh, this is a brilliant chance. Yes, finally we broke him down. And it is 1-1. Embula again. The speedy winger that we have, he's been really good this season. Luna on the ball. Yes, Valencia, come on. Come on, that's 2-1. So we won 2-1 against Sevilla. Not bad, not bad. Another win in the bag against the strong opponent. Their goalkeeper was keeping us out all the time. But, yeah, we did it in the end. Make Maguire captain. I like Grenier as my captain. I think Maguire still needs to... He needs to do something. And I think he's waiting for his moment in the Champions League, I reckon. If we reach that final, imagine Harry Maguire scoring the winner. If ever people still want to see it. Oh, look at this. It's Bellingham. Yes! Come on! 1-0 over Barcelona. And it's Job Bellingham with the goal. So I might do another stream for this. Like tomorrow night or something. Just to like get rid of that. Well, finish off our career mode. We are just absolutely destroying here. Look at this guy. What the hell? What the hell? That's actually unreal. This That guy was crazy. He pushed his way through. And he scored to make it two against Barcelona. Oh, turned and in. Okay, well, that's 2-1 uh, now. Rafinha with the goal. Okay, we just got to be a bit more sharper on the defensive end. Please. No. No. Oh, my God. Barcelona have just scored. Control in the middle of the box there was really good, to be fair. Look at that. Crazy. Okay. Well, that's the game. Kind of bottled it, to be fair, but that's fine. This reminds me of when um, Malaga got to the Champions League semi-finals a few years ago. Well, not a few years ago. Probably almost 10 years ago. Here we go then, Champions League semi-final against RB Leipzig. They just won the league on my save. And um, yeah, they'll be looking to do the double. And um, Mallorca in a very rainy night in Leipzig. Can they do it? Missed that challenge. Uh, Grenier couldn't get it and the goalkeeper just saved it. Yeah, Leipzig won the league on my thing. Oh, this RB Leipzig cell, you can tell why they won the league. Because they're so good in defence. Here comes Dembele. Oh, he just ball rolled me there. Oh, good defence by Harry Maguire. Bataglia, come on. Yes, come on. We're 1-0 up just before the 40th minute. And it's Bataglia with the first goal. We're going to go into half-time. 1-0 up against Leipzig in the first leg. Perlo has done a fantastic job here at Mallorca to push them towards that Champions League final. Maybe. Oh, that's a good ball. Oh, wow. Well, maybe we won't bump it up to legendary as um, Nkunku has just scored. Equalised for Leipzig. That's 1-1. One, one. I reckon Leicester, like there was a theory going around that a lot of Leicester players now um, have kind of gone like, yeah, we really don't care about Leicester anymore. Let's just get relegated and then wh whoever we go to, it'll still be a big club anyway. Bambula, yes! That's so overpowered, that sprinting tactic. It really is. 
No, ah, oh, the goalkeeper saved it, but oh my goodness, and Kunku again. It's two two. This is tough, man. This is why uh, Leipzig are top of the Bundesliga on my game because they're just they're just pretty good. They're pretty good. Damn you, Leipzig. It's two two. Not too bad. Um, we have to go into the second leg at home, which favours us more. Um, but this Leipzig team is good. I want to check out their squad just a second. Because they seem to be playing really well. So they got Angelino, um, Usman Dembele, Timo Werner, um, Christopher Nkunku, uh, Danny Olmo, Schlager, Lo Celso, Haidara, uh, David Rum, 83 rated, David Alaba, Edda Militao as well. That's, that's crazy. We are in the second leg of the Champions League semi-final, by the way. And... Um, yeah, we're 2-2 against RB Leipzig. This is the defining match of our whole career mode. We have to win this to at least get to the final. Get out, Leipzig, please. Like, why are they so good? I, I know they got a good squad, but, like, I was hoping they would just, like, be trash, you know? That's a good ball. It's Andre Gomez. Oh, yes, he scored. Come on. Come on. Come on, Andre Gomez, the unlikely source of goals. And he scored. He was out on the wing, so I thought I'd do it. And then I, I ran into a bit of trouble, but it still went in anyway. Come on. Yes, Andre Gomez. <laughs> Who would have thought it? That's a good challenge. Oh, giving the ball away far too easily. But Leipzig... Will have something up their sleeve. I reckon they will. Oh, that's a good challenge by Gomez. Gomez, the veteran, seems to be doing so well. Now they're on the break. Oh, what the hell? Yes! Yes! The scenes at Mallorca. The scenes. It's 2-0. The scenes as we go into the final. We just beaten Leipzig. 2-0, 4-2 over the two legs. And, well, what a day for Mallorca. What a day. Paralo has navigated them to the Champions League final, either against Barcelona or against PSG. Playing against a big team like Real Madrid will give us a little bit of experience before the Champions League final. Ronaldo just skinned there and <laughs> Valencia just scored. Along the floor, that shot, and Valencia has taken the lead for us against Real Madrid. That kind of tactic going down the wing with Mbula is very overpowered. Like, I don't know why, but Mbula just seems to have so much pace that he can just skip past anybody. Come on, we're about to win 1-0 over Real Madrid. Oh, that was an unlucky ball there. Real Madrid haven't really done an... Well, they have a few shots, um, but yeah... That was a good win by Mallorca. 1-0. Squeezed out um, by this squad by Mallorca. And that's a big three point. We've got the Europa League final. Galatasaray versus Liverpool in the Europa League final. And also in the Conference League, we have Wolverhampton Wanderers versus FC Union Berlin. Luton only got one win in the whole campaign. In the whole campaign. That is unreal. That is crazy. That's the worst Premier League performance of all time. So that is your final league table. Real Madrid, Atletico, Barcelona and Mallorca in the top four. Then you've got Athletic, Bilbao in fifth and Sevilla in sixth. Here we go. The final. And it's going to be a big one. The stadium just looks like it's all Mallorca fans from the looks of things. Did the whole like the club come here? Maguire should have been captain. Yeah, I missed an opportunity there, didn't I? Damn. Yeah. Can I change it, like, midway through or not? Probably not, right? Grenier. Yes! Grenier scored in the sixth minute. And Mallorca leading PSG by one goal to nil. Come on. Early goal. Come on, Mallorca. The ball seems to be pinging everywhere. It's actually really annoying when you tackle a team and, you know, they just get the ball back immediately from the tackle. Here we go. And Bula, the pace, the power. Come on! 
Come on! It's 2-0! PSG are folding! They are folding in this final! They are folding! Yes! Just like the PSG in real life, they are a bunch of bottlers. And it's 2-0. I mean, will my words come back to haunt me? Will they come back to haunt me? It's 2-0, but they can easily get back in the game. Here we go, look at this situation. Look at this. Yes, PSG. PSG are rubbish. PSG are rubbish. Why are the big teams so bad against Mallorca? But then when I went up against Leipzig, went up against Leipzig, they were like, yep, you're not going to get past us. It's like, what? Unbelievable. What an ending to a season for Andrea Perlo and the boys. What a season ender this is. Come on. It's only one minute to go. Here comes PSG. Can they get one as a consolation? It's Mbappe. It had to happen. Mbappe has scored. It's 3-1. And um, Mbappe gets the goal. He still does that celebration, even though you're 3-1 down. <laughs> okay. Cool, Mbappe. Whatever floats your boat. Champions League winners in our second season. What a campaign for Mallorca. What a campaign for Andre Perlo and Valencia, Grenier, all those players. What a final. We blow them away. We blew them away. And yeah, what an ending for this Mallorca season. What an ending. Can't believe that Harry Maguire and um, Rob Holding are going to lift the Champions League. Cannot believe it. Mallorca are your UCL winners. Grenier lifts the Champions League up in London Stadium. The only time you'll see the Champions League in West Ham Stadium. And, well, incredible. Incredible. I'm so glad that you guys were here to witness this. We came fourth. We won the Super Copa um, trophy. Copa de España, we got knocked out in the round of 32. And uh, UEFA Champions League winners. How about that? How about that for a second season? <laughs>